Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Position your body in an arrangement that feels comfortable. Maybe that's seated in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to become comfortable. Feel free to make any adjustments you need. Once you've settled into a specific position that feels comfortable, allow yourself to enjoy that comfort, to relish in it, to savor it. Even if it's small, even a small degree of comfort, allow yourself to really enjoy it. As you pay attention to your body, notice if there are any areas that have tension, muscular tension, and any areas that are tight or tense, perhaps in the face or the jaws, the shoulders, the arms, the hips, the legs, feet. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, Notice that and gently invite it to relax. Relax your body. Those muscles may or may not be willing to relax. See if you can invite that process. Once again, as you do, as you relax your body, notice that relaxation and really enjoy it. Even if it's a small degree of relaxation, notice it and really enjoy it. Allow your body to become comfortable and relaxed. From here, if you'd like, if it feels good for you, Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. By smiling, different chemicals are released into your nervous system that gently incline or nudge yourself towards happiness. We want to invite that process along. So if it feels good for you, establish and maintain a gentle, easy smile. And this is our kind of home base for loving kindness practice being comfortable in the body, relaxing any muscular tension that's present, and establishing and maintaining a gentle, easy smile on our faces.
And if at any time you become uncomfortable or tight or your smile fades, you can simply reestablish the particular quality, becoming comfortable again, relaxing again, returning a smile to your face. Take a moment to enjoy being here. Very good. Now, having prepared the body for loving kindness practice, let's begin to prepare the mind. Consider different things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. Maybe these are big things or small things, totally ordinary things or very special things. Simply reflect on things that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. You might say these things in your mind, saying something like, I feel grateful for the food I ate today. I feel grateful for the friends in my life. I feel grateful for the opportunity to do loving kindness practice. or anything that you like, really. Whatever feels resonant for you. Simply cultivate a sense of gratitude. You might stay with the same one thing that you're grateful for or move through many different things. In any case, allow your mind to focus on what you're grateful for. You may notice as you do this practice that your body responds to what your mind is thinking about, that you can feel the feeling of gratitude. If that happens for you, notice that feeling and really enjoy it. Savor it. Again, even if it's small, maybe your smile widens or there's a sense of warmth in your heart or you just somehow feel happier. If you notice anything like that happening, as you consider these things that you're grateful for, notice that and really enjoy it. Savor that feeling. In loving kindness practice, even a small bit of pleasure or happiness can really grow if we pay attention to it. 
That's why it's really important to enjoy ourselves fully. If there's any degree of happiness or joy or pleasure so that it can grow. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Maybe this is a small child in your life or a pet, a family member. You could even imagine someone, perhaps a puppy or a kitten a baby, doesn't really matter so much who you choose, so long as it's relatively easy for you to feel love for this person. Once you've selected them, see them in your mind's eye. Visualize them in your imagination. And imagine them being happy. Perhaps smiling or laughing. Or whatever way they express happiness. Visualize them being happy. It's as if it's your birthday and there's a birthday cake and you're blowing out the candles and wishing for something. Wish for their happiness. You might find it useful to structure that wish as a phrase in your mind. May they be happy. May they feel loved. May they succeed. Or any phrase that you like, really. Perhaps something particular to your relationship with them. Most important thing is to Cultivate this attitude of well-wishing. And if any happiness arises as you do that, to notice that and really enjoy it. Continue to cultivate an attitude of well-wishing and love for your easy-to-love person or animal for another moment.
Very good. In a moment, we'll transition to practicing, thinking our best available thoughts. But if there is any happiness or pleasure or joy or love that's arisen for you as you've done this practice, there's no need to lose that even as we transition in techniques. And if you'd like at any time, you can come back to the practice of cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal, or really any of the practices that we've done so far, becoming comfortable in the body, relaxing, smiling, cultivating gratitude. Feel free to come back to any of those at any time. But if you'd like, if it feels good for you, consider what kind of mood are you in? How do you feel right now? Perhaps you're very happy or very sad, angry, afraid, some other kind of feeling. Perhaps it's just neutral, very mild for you. Consider what your emotional state is right now. In particular, consider what kinds of thoughts you're having, if any. Maybe some of you are thinking things like, I like this meditation, or I don't like this meditation, or I wonder what I'll do tomorrow. In this practice, we'll use our thinking to gently move ourselves towards higher and higher thoughts, towards happier and happier thoughts. So for example, the thought, I like this, is a thought with a higher or happier or more positive tone than, I don't like this, I hate this. And so whatever thought you are thinking, see if there's a slightly more positive thought that you can think. If you're thinking, I like this, For example, you could think, I really like this. Or if you're thinking, I don't like this, you could say, this isn't so bad. Whatever kind of thought you're thinking, see if you can turn the dial up on the positivity just slightly. doesn't have to be the happiest thought ever, just a noticeably happier and more positive thought than whatever thought you're currently thinking. Of course, if you're not sure what to do, you can just take a guess. Doesn't really matter so much. Just practice thinking a positive thought. Intentionally think a positive thought. Perhaps one that's slightly more positive than whatever you're thinking.
So for me, for example, I might have had the thought, this is going well. And then I could think the thought, I'm doing well. This is going really well. This is great. It's a noticeably more positive thought. Once you've thought a more positive thought, see if you can think a new thought that's even more positive. Whatever thoughts you're currently thinking, see if you can find an even more positive, even happier version of that same thought. So for me, it might be, wow, this is going really well. This is great, absolutely terrific. See if you can turn the dial of positivity up even more. It isn't that you have to think the most positive thought ever of all time. It's just that whatever thoughts you do have, you want to see if you can think the most positive version of that thought that feels available to you right now. And again, once you've thought a more positive version of that thought, see if you can think an even more positive version. Or if you have a new thought about something else, see if you can have a more positive version of that thought. Whatever thoughts you're currently thinking, see if you can find the most positive version of it that feels available to you right now. So it has to feel real, it has to feel authentic, it has to feel like your thought. But think the most positive thought on that topic that you can right now, whatever it is. And every so often, every 20, 30, 60 seconds, see what you're thinking and think the highest thought 
highest and most positive available version of that thought that you can. Continue to practice thinking the highest available thought for another few moments. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back and reflect. What was your experience of this practice period like? What happened? Did you face any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Consider and reflect. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 